Welcome to the ShareEd BC How-To video series. This video covers the creation of a resource for planning or a professional learning resource. The resource for planning items can be used as a starting point for planning, with teacher preview required. BC curriculum details are optional for this type of resource. The professional learning items support and enhance professional knowledge and practice. BC curriculum details are optional for this type as well. Let us show you how this works. To add a resource, click on Resources in the top navigation area. You will find the Add Resource button on any resource pages, such as My Saved, My Shared, or Search Resources. Let's click on the big orange button to get started. For this example, we are going to use Resource for Planning. Professional Learning Resources follows the same process other than the first step. In the Type drop-down menu, you can select Resource for Planning. By default, it is already selected. Start by entering the title for your resource. Enter a short summary statement that outlines the intent and content of your item in the description field. Attach your file or files, if any. Shared BC allows you to add up to 15. Any attachments or links added to your resource are subject to the Creative Commons license and copyright terms and conditions. You can click here to read them. Add a website link or links if you have any. You can add up to 15. To add more files or links, click on the plus mark beside the field or click in the empty field. At least one file or link is required. The Instructional Language field defaults to English, with French being the other option. You can only choose one. The fields we just covered are all mandatory for this type of resource or for a professional learning resource. Any fields below are optional. Providing more information will be helpful to other educators looking for a particular resource. For this item, we will include a few additional pieces of information in the optional fields. Focus area is used to identify if the resource includes assessment, is applicable to English language learning, focuses on inclusive or Indigenous education, or can be applied to online learning. Should you choose Indigenous education, there will be another option pop up to indicate if it is an Authentic First Peoples resource. The definition for Authentic First Peoples resource can be found in the Help section under the Resources FAQ, or you can click on the link here. Should your resource require access to technology, select Student and or Teacher if applicable. You can select supporting material that applies to your resource if you have further information. Include any additional details in the Additional Notes field at Step 4. The six core competencies are listed should you choose to select one or more. Should you select one or more curriculum area or grade, the associated BC curriculum selections are updated on the next screens. If you have multiple grades, you will have to select them one at a time. If you don't select at least one curriculum area and grade, clicking on the Next button will take you directly to Step 4. Click Next when ready to proceed. If the Next button cannot be clicked, check that all mandatory fields have been completed. Because we selected one curriculum area and multiple grade levels, the Courses screen is displayed. If we didn't select any, this screen would have been skipped. If you want to select any big ideas, competencies, or content, you need to select a course or courses. Click Next when ready. Because we did not select any courses in Step 3, we are now at step four, the final step. Any additional notes that you would like the other educators to know can be entered here. 
Acknowledge any other contributors to your resource in the Author Credits field. If you have the permission to be an organization moderator, you will have a box to select called Organization Resource that indicates it's a resource to be tagged to your school district. If you don't click in that box, the resource will be attributed to yourself. If you don't see the Organization Resource field, the resource will automatically be attributed to you. You need to read the Creative Commons License and Copyright Terms and Conditions and then tick the checkbox to agree. You are now ready to submit your resource. Click on the Submit button to send the resource to a moderator. Other educators will find your resource after it has gone through the publishing process. If you wish to save for now and go back later to finish it, you can click on Save Draft. After hitting Save Draft, you will be taken to the My Shared Resources area. When you are ready to complete your resource, you can click on the pencil icon to make your edits. Once you have made your changes, you will need to be on step four. You will need to recheck the Creative Commons license and copyright terms and conditions box. Then you can click on the submit button and send your resource to a moderator. Thanks for watching and enjoy using ShareEdBC.